I'd like to talk about climate change. So would I. Okay. The forest fires in the West are raging now. They have burned millions of acres. They have displaced hundreds of thousands of people. When state officials there blame the fires on climate change, Mr. President, you said, I don't think the science knows. Over your four years, you have pulled the U.S. out of the Paris Climate Accord. You have rolled back a number of Obama environmental records. What do you believe about the science of climate change and what will you do in the next four years to confront it? I want crystal clean water and air. I want beautiful, clean air. We have now the lowest carbon. If you look at our numbers right now, we are doing phenomenally. But I haven't destroyed our businesses. Our businesses aren't put out of commission. If you look at the Paris Accord, it was a disaster from our standpoint. And people are actually very happy about what's going on because our businesses are doing well. As far as the fires are concerned, you need forest management in addition to everything else. The forest floors are loaded up with trees, dead trees that are years old and they're like tinder and leaves and everything else. You drop a cigarette in there, the whole forest burns down. You've got to have forest management. What do you You've believe, got to have cuts. What do you believe about the science of climate change, sir? Uh, I believe that we have to do everything we can to have immaculate air, immaculate water, and do whatever else we can that's good. You know, we're planting a billion trees, the Billion Tree Project, and it's very exciting for a lot that, of people. you believe that human pollution, gas, greenhouse gas emissions contributes to the global warming of the planet? I think planet? a lot of things do, but I think to an extent, yes. I think to an extent, yes. But I also think we have to do better management of our forests. Every year, I get the call... California's burning. California's burning. If that was cleaned, if that were, if you had forest management, good forest management, you wouldn't be getting those calls. You know, in Europe, they live their forest cities. They're called forest cities. They maintain their forests. They manage their forests. I was with the head of a major country. It's a forest city. He said, sir, we have trees that are far more, they, they ignite much easier than California. There shouldn't be that problem. I spoke with the governor about it. I'm getting along very well with the governor. But I said, you know, at some point, you can't every year have hundreds of thousands of acres of land just burned to the ground. But, sir, That's but, burning down because of a lack of but management. But, sir, if you believe in the science of climate change, why have you rolled back the Obama clean power plan, which limited carbon emissions in power plants. Why have you relaxed... Because it was driving energy prices through the sky. Why have you relaxed fuel economy standards that are going to create more pollution from cars well, and trucks? Well, not really, because what's happening is the car is much less expensive and it's a much safer car, and you're talking about a tiny difference, and then what would happen, because of the cost of the car, you would have at least double and triple the number of cars purchased. We have the old slugs out there that are 10, 12 years old. If you did that, the car would be safer. It would be much cheaper by $3,500. But $3, in, the, in the case of they've simply ignored No, but you would take your, a lot of cars off the market because people would be able to afford a car. Now, so, and by the way, we're going to see how that turns out. But a lot of people agree with me, many people. The car has gotten so expensive because they have computers all over the place for an extra little bit okay. of gasoline. And, by the, and, and, and I'm OK with electric cars, too. I think I'm all for electric cars. I've given big incentives for electric cars. But what they've done in California is just all crazy. Right. Vice President Biden, I'd like you to, to respond to the president's climate change record. But I also want to ask you about a concern. You proposed $2 trillion in green jobs. You talk about new limits, not abolishing, but new limits on fracking, ending the use of fossil fuels to generate electricity by 2035, and zero net emission of greenhouse gases by 2050. The president says a lot of these things would tank the economy and cost millions of jobs. He's absolutely wrong, number one. Number two, if in fact, when, when our, during our administration, the Recovery Act, I was able to, I was in charge, able to bring down the cost of renewable energy to cheaper than or as cheap as coal and gas and oil. Nobody's going to build another 
uh, uh, coal-fired plant in America. No one's going to build another oil-fired plant in America. They're going to move to renewable energy, number one. Number two, we're going to make sure that we are able to take the federal fleet and turn it into a fleet that's run on their electric vehicles, making sure that we can do that. We're going to put 500,000 charging stations and all of the highways that we're going to be building in the future. We're going to build an economy that, in fact, is going to provide for the ability us to take 4 million buildings and make sure that they, in fact, are weatherized in a way that, in fact, will, they'll, they'll emit significantly less gas and oil because the heat will not be going out. There's so many things that we can do now to create thousands and thousands of jobs. We can get to net zero in terms of energy production by 2035, not only not costing people jobs, creating jobs, creating millions of good paying jobs, not 15 bucks an hour, but prevailing wage by having a new infrastructure that, in fact, is green. And the first thing I will do, I will rejoin the Paris Accord. I will join the Paris Accord because with us out of it, look what's happening. It's all falling apart. And talk about someone who has no, no relationship to, with foreign policy. Brazil, the rainforests of Brazil are being torn down, are being ripped down. More, more carbon is absorbed in that rainforest than every bit of carbon that's emitted in the United States. Instead of doing something about that, I would be gathering up and making sure we had the, com the countries of the world coming up with $20 billion and say, here's $20 billion. Stop, stop tearing down the forest. And if you don't, then you're going to have significant economic consequences. What about, consequences what about the trade. argument that President Trump basically says that you have to balance environmental interests and economic interests, and he's drawn his line? Well, he hadn't drawn a line. He still, for example, makes sure that we, he wants to make sure that methane's not a problem. We can, you, you can now emit more methane without it being a problem. Methane. Gotcha. This is a guy who says that you don't have to have mileage standards for automobiles that exist now. This is the guy who says that, well, the fact that gotcha. it, gotcha. it, 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 it's all true. And here's He's the deal. He's talking about the Green he, New Deal. And it's not $2 billion I'm, or $20 billion, as you said. I'm it's... One hundred trillion dollars. I'm talking about where they the want to Biden rip down plan. buildings go for a minute, and, then uh, you can go. and rebuild the building. No, it's the dumbest, not, most ridiculous. That is not where airplanes are out of minute, business, where two car systems are out, where not they want true. to take out the cows too. Not you know that's true. not true either, right? Not this true. is a this is a one hundred trillion. Look, that's more money than our country is, could make. In a hundred years, if we're not going the case. All right, let me, will, let me, let me, let me destroy because, our because I actually, wait a minute, sir. I actually <laughs> have studied your plan, and it includes upgrading four million buildings, weatherizing yes. two million homes over four years, building one and a half million energy efficient homes. So the question becomes some, the president is saying, I think some people who support the president would say that sounds like it's going to cost a lot of money and hurt the economy. What it's going to do is going to create thousands and millions of jobs, good paying jobs. But let him finish, sir. He doesn't know how to do that. $100 they, trillion. Dollars. The fact is it's going to create millions of good paying jobs and these tax incentives to people, for people to weatherize, which he wants to get, get rid of. It's going to make the economy much safer. Look how much we're paying now to deal with the hurricanes. With the deal with, by the way, he has an answer for hurricanes. He said maybe we should drop a nuclear weapon on them. They may. I oh, never said that that's at all. He did say You made it up. Uh, and here's the deal. You make up a we, lot. We are going to be in a position where we can create hard, hard, good jobs by making sure the environment is clean and we all are in better shape. We spend billions of dollars now, billions of dollars on floods, hurricanes, rising seas. We're in real trouble. Look what's happened just in the Midwest with these storms that come through and wipe out entire sections and counties in Iowa. They didn't happen before. They're because of global warming. We make up 15 percent of the world's problem. We, in fact, but the, the rest of the world, we've got to get them to come along. That's why we have to get back into, back into the Paris Accord. All right, gentlemen. Wait a minute, Chris. So why didn't he do it for 47 years? You were